Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up System C on a Ubuntu virtual machine. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to go ahead and open a terminal by right clicking on anywhere on the desktop and clicking open in terminal. Now I'm going to go ahead and just shove this over this way to the right. And I'm going to go ahead and open these guides. I'll be linking these guides in the description box down below so you guys can also follow through if you guys need to see it. So I'm going to set this up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do to install System C is you're gonna need to get the GCC compiler. So we're gonna go ahead and follow this guide and this is a fresh install of Ubuntu so uh, you guys should have the same setup as I do. So the first step right here, we're going to go ahead and just type in sudo apt update. And then it's going to ask for a password. Uh, you can go ahead and type in the password. Now, by default on uh, Linux, they don't show you the actual password, even though you typed it in. So even though it looks like I didn't type anything in, uh, I can still go ahead, type it in, press enter, and it'll go ahead and start downloading all the stuff um, that it needs to get. So we'll go ahead and uh, let this download. Okay, so now that it's done, we can go ahead and just type in the next line. sudo apt install build dash essential, okay, enter. And then it's gonna ask whether you want to continue. Go ahead and press Y and then enter. And then it'll go ahead and download all the stuff that it needs to be done. Okay, so when it goes ahead and pops back up uh, to verify that you successfully installed the GCC compiler, you can go ahead and just type in GCC space dash dash version. And then click enter. And then it should go ahead and output that little snippet of text. So that is how you install the GCC compiler on Ubuntu. Now, the next step that we're gonna do is getting to install system C. And to install system C, I'm gonna be referring to this guide that I found. And again, I will also link this guide down in the description box down, down below so you guys can also follow through at your own pace should you need. So uh, the first step we're gonna do now for installing system C is you're gonna type in sudo apt dash get install build dash essential oops uh so just a key note here uh spaces are very specific in the command line so if there is an accidental space like i did right there it won't work so uh make sure to copy down uh what the guide says pretty much exactly so this time, no space um, after the apt. And install build dash essential. And then, as you can see, it went ahead and built the package list and you know did the stuff that it needed to do. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to download system C. Uh, go ahead and click this link right here. And uh, you can go ahead and just click save file. Uh, OK. And then it's shown it's completed downloading. So, okay, so I went ahead and took a pause here and cleared out the uh, command line because I know it was getting a little messy there. But the next step that we need to do is that we need to go ahead and navigate to our downloads folder. So we're gonna go ahead and change our directory in our command line by typing in CD, change directory, uh, tilde slash downloads. And now you're going to notice the blue uh, word highlight is going to be downloads. So we're in the download directory now. And we can go ahead and copy and paste this uh, line right here. And what that does is it'll basically unzip it. And uh, it'll go ahead and put it in our downloads for us. So now it went ahead and, you know, unzipped it and all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and navigate 
to its new folder that it unzipped by once again typing in cd change directory and you're going to type in system uh, dash c 2.3.1 a slash so oops see uh you have to make sure to put in the correct spacing and dashes again uh it's very particular uh, I mistyped that, so we're going to go ahead and try again here. Uh, system C dash 2.3.1 A slash. So now we're in that folder that we just unzipped. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make the uh, directory. Uh, so we're going to make the directory with mkdir, uh, make directory, and we're just going to name it object directory so we're going to type that okay so now you're going to go ahead and go to the object directory typing cd uh, object directory it gets you in there and then now that you're in there you can go ahead and copy and paste this line of code and paste enter it'll go ahead and do all this stuff and at this point you're pretty much at the end um almost almost now go ahead and just copy and paste this line uh sudo make and then it'll go ahead and do its thing okay so that took a while but we got it and now you're just going to go ahead and do sudo make install copy and paste enter and now that's pretty much it uh you're pretty much done and now the third step is you're going to have to go ahead and uh, make a clone of the GitHub directory for our class. So to do this, you're going to go ahead and go to the GitHub page that uh, the professor has linked. And you're going to go ahead and click this little green arrow here. Uh, click copy HTTPS, this little copy symbol right here. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do first, actually, you're going to type in git, enter, and then it'll say the command git isn't found, but it can be installed with this. So you're going to go ahead and type in sudo apt install git. Then do you want to continue? Yes, enter. Okay, so now uh, go ahead and change your directory cd. Space till we're just gonna make sure we're gonna install the uh, GitHub repository in the root folder. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and type in git space clone and go ahead and click on this and copy it and then paste it in. And then it's gonna go ahead and clone it and you should be good. Um, the last step here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy this command right here, which will export the uh, system C home variable. So copy that, paste it, enter, and then it won't show up anything, but you can go ahead and test to make sure it works by typing in echo, uh, dollar sign, capital system, C underscore home. And then there you go. It should spit this little line of code out and you pretty much should be good to go. Uh, another additional test you can do is typing in CD, change directory, CECS 460 slash labs slash lab dash one slash. Go ahead and click enter. Now you're inside that directory and we'll go ahead and build the system C program by typing in source build underscore hello dot sh. Enter. The build is finished and you can try running it with dot dash hello enter and there you go hello from ccs 460 and that's pretty much it guys if you found it helpful let me know i can make more videos to try to help the class out uh i'm by no means a genius but i'll try my best to make videos that can help the class